Yesterday, the Prince and Princess of Wales observed the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth Ayat's death with a private service at St. David's Cathedral in Wales. Arriving shortly after 2 p.m., Prince William wore a dark blue suit, while Kate stunned in a burgundy dress coat by Eponine and a hat by Sahar Millinery. Following the service, the royal couple took a bouquet of white roses and laid it before a framed picture of the late queen. Kate appeared to curtsy briefly, and both paused before the picture, with William looking somber. In a poignant moment, a portrait of Queen Elizabeth was displayed at the cathedral ahead of their arrival. Additionally, Prince William and Catherine attended a lavish state reception at Government House Wellington, where a portrait of the Queen with Kate, a lady of details, wore a knee-length gown featuring silver beading in the shape of a fan, representing New Zealand's national emblem. The portrait, painted by New Zealand artist Nick Cuthill, will remain on permanent public display in the New Zealand Portrait Gallery. During the state reception, Prince William addressed the warm crowd, offering a few words in New Zealand's native language, Maori. Princess Kate, exuding timeless elegance, paid tribute to Queen Elizabeth by wearing a beautiful pair of earrings that once belonged to her. The burgundy coat by Eponine was a bespoke creation, and Kate carried a recycled mulberry bag, showcasing her commitment to sustainable fashion. Her accessories included recycled Mulberry Bayswater wallet, John Vito Rossi heels, and a pair of sweet Gian Vito Rossi pumps. The cheek coat dress was familiar, having been previously worn by Kate at the Christmas Carol service at Westminster Abbey in London in 2022. For jewelry, Kate chose a minimalistic yet significant look, adorning her ears with delicate pearl drop and diamond studs that once belonged to Queen Elizabeth. She also proudly displayed her 12-carat Cylon Sapphire engagement ring, symbolizing her enduring love story with Prince William. Prince William, standing by her side, looked dapper in a navy suit, white shirt, and a patterned tie, complementing Kate's classic style. The royal couple marked this significant appearance to commemorate the one-year anniversary of Queen Elizabeth, IT's passing, they traveled to St. David's Cathedral in Pembrokeshire, marking the day exactly a year since the nation's longest reigning monarch passed away at Balmoral at the age of 96. Despite a delay caused by fog, William and Kate graciously greeted well-wishers before proceeding inside for a brief but solemn 10-minute service, paying their respects to the beloved queen who left an indelible mark on the nation's history.